Hey YouTube, it's Alicia here, and I have two living single videos and stuff. So the first one on this video is talking about living single 25th anniversary. So as y'all know, probably about a couple weeks ago, um, TV One just had celebrated 25 years of living single. Oh my God. And I wanted to come here. I wanted to wait till everything died down and everything. And I want to talk about some of the up my favorite episodes because, okay, if you don't know, I'm 34 years old and I grew up around living single from the first uh, from the very first season all the way to the end. And I'm gonna talk right in there. I'm gonna talk tell y'all who my favorite um, my favorite co-stars who have. My favorite co-stars, my favorite stars, co-stars, um, favorite guest stars. So without further ado, let's get started. So y'all know the story. Originally, um, the before it got like it was like the men lived upstairs, girls lived downstairs. It was sort of like um. Oh, let me see how you guys say uh, townhouse sort of like um apartments but then they kind of changed it up and think and i for the 25 years i can actually tell y'all my favorite character i had a lot of love that all the characters i love the queen latifah character um uh, I love the Queen Latifah character. I love them all, but my main character, female character, I will have to love. But I love the two characters. I love the Queen Latifah's character, and I loved um, Maxine Shaw, Attorney at Law, Sinclair, Khadijah James, who Queen Latifah played, and then Raging Hunter who um was played by kim fields you got cal barker who was played by tc carson you got not overton who's played by john Ugh, sorry y'all i forgot his name the top of my head but it was john something and i just i loved it and that was just a thing for the last few years that my family watched and I'm just going to break down some of my favorite episodes. So, one of my favorite episodes is when Sinclair started night school. <laughs> and Overton ended up going to the night school with her. And he's overshadowing, you know, things. And he goes into class and he's just letting the men know, Hey, this is my girl. This is my girl. Uh-uh. So, yeah, that's one of my favorite favorite episodes one of my other favorite episodes the first time that cal and um cal barker and um cal barker y'all i am going blank i'm sorry when cal barker um and max there we go and Max first get together and they have they end up y'all know at the time, let me just say it for a way that my parents would have said it to me. Spooning. Uh, spooning. <laughs> spooning together at the, but y'all know what it's called now. <laughs> at the X and stuff. But then that was one, that was the funniest episode. He said, you, me, dinner, boom, and just, just cut down her shoe it was like great and then one of my other favorite ones um <laughs> is when regime moved out and she meet these other people and regime introduced her old best friends to the new best friends is it so happily the new one of the new best friends who lives upstairs let me just say who live upstairs is supposed to be sort of like cal barker and then she had a um the new um 
candy man that she met supposed to be like over 10 and then you got this one character that's supposed to be like supposed to be like Sinclair and then you got another character who like to eat a lot supposed to be like Matt that was just one of my favorite and then this other character who supposed to be sort of like Khadijah man that was one of, that was one of the best ones ever i mean you, you have had so many guest stars on there you had shamar moore um shamar moore gladys the comparable gladys knight playing overton's mom oh my god let me see um you had actually you actually had kim Oh, I can't think of the lady who played Kim Fields' mom on there, but you have her. Now, she also did some background work on there as well. And I'm going to tell y'all how, how you would recognize her in the background work. And it was just one of the best things ever. Um, one, of the, one of the episodes I will have to love is when Overton and Regine get stuck duck in the um, blizzard and they are trying to get home and um she's like and they said and he goes no not not my bean bag chair no he said she go i'll do it he go no i'll do it it'd be worth it man it was like <laughs> it was like one of the best shows i ever watched now the one thing i love we had i can't think of this guy when um Sinclair and um Khadija then start having a man roommate because Regine moved out Regine found her Mr. Right and went off into the sunset and everything ah, I loved it loved it and then Sinclair ended up getting married and um Overton, um, but what I loved it at the end, like, at, like when the um, when it went off air, and then Cal found out Max was pregnant, but t he didn't get her pregnant. She picked some number da 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 da, da from some sperm bank, and uh. Overton said, what's the number? And he like said it. And like, he go, nothing. And he go, and he go, oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy, like that. And like, everybody like, Overton, what you mean? What's, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? So once Max left out with the dog, and he goes, that's Cal. And he said, you know I got to call Cal. So Cal was coming in for the wedding. It was like, crazy cal is out in london and stuff and um after that cal and max um and you know one of my favorite and uh, like cal and um uh, cal barker and max maxine shaw i think is now mr and mrs baka <laughs> are married i think um on the if you know if you know the tv show half and half they appeared on there, so it was like, ah! But, yes, I, I mean, I just wanted to come and celebrate this show because I loved it, this show when I was young. Um, so I'm going to come back in a minute, and I'm going to tell y'all what I want to see if it is. If it is. If ever it was a reboot of Living Single. So, until the end, I'm Alicia. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Thumbs up this video. Comment below. And subscribe to my channel. And the question of the day is, what was your favorite living single moment? Alright. Bye.